Good evening, folks. This is Raven. I'm here with uh, Zamaslam again. Lizard Man was not able to make it this week. We're here for New Challenger Underdog Series 6, Season 6, uh, Tournament 3 this week. So we're still in the middle of processing a few last minute check ins, as usual. about to hit the uh, go button on the tournament. Now or forever hold your peace if you are looking to get in. Um, we're still waiting on Full Heart and to check in, I believe. Uh, I end up having a beard had to step out, Snixie stepped out. Full Heart has not checked in and is our defending champion at the moment, so that would be quite disappointing. good to have the defending uh, champion defending. Sure. Plus, it'd be nice to see somebody pick up those uh, 25 points for uh, killing Fullheart. You always won two in a row now? Yep, Three. two in a row. Okay. This is the third one? Uh, this would be number three. So he won uh, tournament two and... No, he, did he win tournament one and two? Check my records here. No, sorry, he placed second place in tournament one and first place in tournament two. So he yeah. has the oh, second yeah. place and the first place bounty stacked. Probably go over the usual uh, spiel on how to report these games for Swiss format. Uh, we might simplify this later just because it's kind of always a thing. Let's see. Switch this real quick. All right, well, OBS is being obstinate. All right, looks like we have full heart. Get that check in the process. We'll sort out OBS. Here. Or 
or try to anyway. So here we have the entire window. So what this is, is uh, with the Swiss format, the way these get reported is when you hit here to re report your scores. Oh, I can't see. We're going to start again. Let's go ahead and we'll hit the start button. All right, when you hit here to report scores, you're going to see match details, report scores, and you're going to see add a set right here. So this score right here should be just your first game's score. So if you went two rounds to one, you would put 2-1 here, then you would add your second game. If it was also, you know, 2-1 or 2-0, that's going to be your best two out of three right there that'll finish. Uh, let's say it went the other way. You won one, lost one, so now it went three games. That could be your set. Um, do not just put this if you won two games to one. You're not going to get the points you're supposed to get and you will end up losing out on your proper position on the scoreboard. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you just do this. You can enter your scores like this. You will get the majority of your points that way. But it's really best for you, especially if it goes down to tiebreakers, if you're actually going through and entering all your points like this. This is the, the way that we can best have the Swiss run for the best matchups and placings possible. Um, I know this is a little bit more work than the, we usually expect out of people for challenge, uh, but I think it provides a, a better placing experience, I think. That being said, we have hit the go button on the bracket. We are ready to go, I think. So why don't we start looking for who's going to be on stream today. Got any good, uh, good ones you're looking at? Uh, let's see. We should save the higher placing ones for later, I think. Usually, yeah. That's usually what we like to see. Uh, we don't want to miss out on Full Heart getting bopped, though. I think yeah. Adam has a chance to do it, but... They fight a lot, so I mean... <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you think that's a good one to, to look at real quick, or do you think we should wait till later? Think Full Heart can defend round one? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying I'm trying to get the thing real quick, but it's not loading on my phone for some reason. Alright, so the round one matches that we have matched up right now are Adam versus Full Heart, Clutch Co. versus EOT Cody, who's a newcomer. Uh, Masonry Bit versus Palm Cat, also a newcomer. Uh, Floxion versus Motion Stop, both two new entrants. Kuzo versus WI Alex, uh, Kuzo's new here, I believe. Uh, J Rocknafir versus Soulshine. I don't think they've played this season yet, but I recognize those names. Yeah. Honestly, I, I think Adam versus Full Heart's a given that we have to see. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a grudge match. Alright, why don't we do that one and we'll do uh, Rocknafar versus Soulshine, I think, for our other one? Sure. Although they're going west to east coast, that's the only thing. Ooh, maybe we'll do Floxon versus Motion Stop? Floxion versus Motion Stop? Let's see. Grab them in here. Adam and Fullheart. Starting off strong. To say the very least. Oh yeah. And Flox 
Axion versus Motion Stop. Mm -hmm. See if I spelled that right. No, I sure didn't. Try that again. A H P P C. So far, we got Adam in full power, and now we got Flotion waiting for motion stop. While we're waiting for that, why don't you nice people go ahead and take a look at our sponsor, Matcharino, is helping sponsor Underdog Season 6 so that we can raise money for charity while we're raising everybody's level in Street Fighter. Uh, all of the proceeds that we collect through Maturino go to Child's Play Charities, which provides games and diversions and uh, toys to children that are in the hospital. Uh, it's a really good cause, really helps kids do better in those situations when they're not just stuck in a you know, white room staring at a wall 24-7. Uh, so the way that you can participate in that is I've put links using our tiny URL in the Twitch chat I'm going to put it in Discord as well here. Coupon code is PLAY, all caps, P-L-A-Y. If you just go to that page, sign in, and enter the coupon code, you can get $1 added to the donation pool without having to pay anything. Literally, all you have to do is type in PLAY after you're logged in and hit GO, and it drops a dollar in the, in the jar. Uh, you can add a message to that if you want to shout somebody out or just want to say something. Um, and on top of that, we also have a lot of merch and things like that. You can buy new Challenger shirts. I think uh, there's Maturino t-shirts and things like that on there. Uh, a lot of cool things. It also shows you directly on the item how much it costs and how much goes to the uh, donation pool. Uh, on top of that, you can also just donate. If you would like to donate to the cause, just throw that in there. Uh, we will be shouting out our top donators uh, at some point during the season. So definitely get your messages in there. Uh, that being said, I think we have everybody in the lobby ready to go at this point. So Foolheart versus Adam RPC. Foolheart versus Adam is our first match of the night. All right, the classic NCH grudge match. Let's see if their connection's gonna be fine. <laughs> I remember these two back and forth always talk about the connection, so we'll see. Uh -oh. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Buki versus Yurian. I'm 100% confident there's not gonna be a switch here. I'd be surprised if Fool pulls up Kage against Adam already. I mean, Master yep. versus Super Diamond, this should be some pretty hype-level stuff. Oh, hey, that's, I didn't even know that costume was done yet. <laughs> cool. Being done. I mean, I didn't know it was in the game yet. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen this costume before. I'll finish this in no time. It's a good costume. Maybe, maybe it's not actually released yet. No, Full Heart just found a way to get a pre-release. Round one. <laughs> yeah, he's got the... Fight. Stayed up until midnight. Ooh, right outside of Capcom. Come fast forward. Alright, some classics. Got the tosses. There you got Bouncy House of Fool is known as the Bouncy House of Buki because he likes to jump a lot. Adam has definitely seen that mix up before he blocks the whole thing. Ooh, grabbed again. 
catches him with the blow. It's crossed up. This is classic Kabuki. Failed on the uh, monitor switch. Round two. Point. Alright. Well, at least we got that out of the way sorry. now instead of, you know, monitor switch failure later on. Oh, there's an EX head, but. Boy. Grab it. Now it's time for some boopy time. Up there. I'm expecting a headbutt anytime now. <laughs> oh, I think that's death. That's death. Yeah, there you so go. Those Twitter, got those Twitter combos. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole reason to play Urien, right? Final round. Urien is like Fight. Diet Alex on the, on the Twitter trends, because Alex players <laughs> literally only exist to be on Twitter. Urien <laughs> players exist to throw out walls and be like, Look at this cool bouncy combo! That whiffed. But just running people into the corner right here. That's just how Buki be sometimes. <laughs> Crap. He's got a. He's got all the meter in the world. <laughs> Did that kill? Oh, <laughs> that, we're dead. I just. Ex. Thanks, Ryder. Ex, Ryder. Keep doing it. Wins. It works. I, I actually didn't think that was a. I've never seen that before. I've seen EX and then doing something else. I've, I've never seen EX Rida, then Shuriken, then EX Rida again, because, yeah, may as well. It works. Round one. Fight. No. <laughs> Bouncy Ibuki. But, I mean, like, that's the thing with the boot you can kind of get away with jumping, because, you know, the other person has to go, well, am I going to try an anti-air and just eat an EX kunai? Yeah. That's where she's rough to deal with, because she's got so many options, just in general. A little bit of a stalemate here. I mean, if they're normal kunais, you can just anti-air through them. They're normal speed kunais. Yes, you guys are problematic. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that was interesting. You just need one more touch either way. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, and the pullback from that B skill. Classic B skill. Round two. Buki is not wrong. Oh, there we go. And now this is real <laughs> Abuki gameplay. Tight. That's, I mean, whenever I play, whenever I play Abuki, I will just jump into the air and just keep doing that until they stop me. Because it's it's an important thing to have. The kite's the best part of Abuki's move set. I bet Fool would even agree. I'm really upset that Zeku has the kite in his intro, but he doesn't actually have the move. That would be hilarious. If he could, like, switch stances, it would be different ways of flying into the kite. <laughs> Even just, young like, one. Just did, like, young Zeku kite, maybe. You <laughs> young Zeku gets kite, but it's just EX, stat, EX slide. <laughs> it just has a kite behind it, because it's all young Zeku is anyways. It's just EX slide. Eh. Yeah. 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 This is EX slide and medium punch. What is the gap between a Buki knee and a Buki knee? I don't know. It's whack. The sun <laughs> it's the <up>. gap. <laughs> the gap is that it's whack. Alright, Full Heart keeps his bonus. At least until round two. Ibuki wins. Yep. Now let's check the general for some salt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a classic grudge match.
Oh god, me. No, not like this. Wait. I keep forgetting I'm on a keyboard and I forgot what my buttons were. Pull out of here. We got Flockdown versus Motion Stop. Hey, I called it. I, I knew it was gonna be lag. I knew that was gonna be what it was about. I have reads. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the OS. Oh, right. So we got Mika Boys. And we need, presumably we need to get NCH Rio. rich enough that we can just fly everybody out and have an offline tournament. Yeah. If only. Mika Boys. Yeah, Motion's a very good Mika. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen him play before. Yeah, he brought uh, Soul Shine. I think it was eight to ten um, for Soul when they did their. Uh, oh, was their Bropanga, Bropanga last? Uh, yeah, Bropa Bropanga last season. Ooh, wow! And, We're reaching. Yeah. But yeah, it was eight to ten. Right. The one thing I think uh, Ryu in this matchup needs to do is if they start drop kicking, I think that's when you gotta pop the parry. Because that would probably do a lot to that uh, drop kick. This is the path. Kind of keep Round it out. Because you'd be able to do something after that. Fight! Expected the uh, Capcom Fest over here. We're already in the corner. Break you! Oh, those medium kicks. Loxian over here playing his footsies game with his back at the wall. Doing pretty good. Very defensive. I don't see a lot of Ryu players. I just see the classics sometimes. Very active for you, too. He's also very careful. Nice, good choice there. In the corner. He's very patient for a bronze Ryu. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, this guy is not feeling very bronze to me. This seems, this seems really a lot higher than a bronze level here. I mean, for one thing, no wake up buttons, no extraneous jumping. No EXDPs out of friggin' nowhere. Yeah, I mean, on the other Round hand, two. he hasn't spent any meter so far. I got some the Tina. Oh my god! He's starting strong. <laughs> what the? I guess yeah, he decided not... it was time to get rid of that meter. Also, he's not a true bronze Ryu because he hasn't done triple dash up sweep or triple dash up grab yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Only platinum Ryu's do that to me. Mm. Mm. Alright. Mika time. Scoop! Right. Double dash. Oh man. Mika jump arc is not very predictable. Mika boys. Love Mika. Mika wins. It's a fun character. Wholesome fun for everyone. Not not a salt inducing character at all. Just wholesome fun. One hundred percent. Pure honesty. Round one. Fight! Oh, nice slide there. Eh. Eh, eh, brimstone time. <laughs> the Mika Schmix. Now Mika's in the corner. Run it out, throw it out. Very careful play by both of them. Ooh, that's gonna be very close to dead. No, eh, wait, scaling's a thing. That's probably dead. Nope, no, it's not. It, giant swing. Giant swing is the one that does a sh uh, crap them. <laughs> Got about that. Oops. All right, match point here. Commentator's curse. Loxion definitely holding his own here, but uh, Motion Stop just pulling out a little bit ahead every round. Oh no. 
Oh no, uh -oh. sir, sir. Wait, wake up, now. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but uh, I'm gonna say it was. I was actually surprised he didn't EXDP it right there, because I would have. I would have been mashing. We have not seen a single EXDP, have we? No. He's still sitting on a full bar too. Mm. One EX command grab could be it. Come on, scoops, come on. Where's the scoops at? Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! I feel like Floxian is probably a veteran fighting game player, but new to Street Fighter V. He's not he's using his resources. Weird. He doesn't seem to know the matchup very well, but he's definitely playing at a solid level. Yeah, I mean, he's got... He's, he's patient. He's really patient. He just doesn't... Do the right things at the time to time. do something. Like, mm -hmm. he was being very, very defensive when he was playing. And the thing is, against Mika, that's fine as long as you hold up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because he kind of ate every single command grab pretty much there, except the one that missed. I feel like you've got to throw out that EXTP at least once. Like, he should have shown the opponent it still exists. When he, um, he was doing the brimstone loop thing and he missed the one, I would have been mashing DP. I would have been like, it's time, monkey time. <laughs> I, I need to mash that. Please don't touch me. All right, so we're just waiting on score reports from Mainstream Bit versus Palmcat and uh, Floxion versus Motion Stop and enter theirs. Then we will have a uh, refresh on the bracket, which will tell us what our next matches are. Oh, I right. think the on-screen bracket is actually not the right one. Give me a second to fix that. Yeah, this is still last week's. Alright, there we go. And it looks like we are ready for round two. So round two, our matchups are Adam versus EOT Cody, Jognafir versus Floxion, Palmcat versus Kuzo, which that's super new. Uh, Ocean Stop versus Soul Shine, pretty new there. Jason <laughs> versus Alex. Oh, uh, dang. Clutchco versus Foolhard. Soul versus Motion. That's a run back from Bopanga. Yeah, how'd it go in Bopanga? Uh, Soul won, I believe it was 10 8. N8, that sounds pretty close. I feel like we should take a look at that. Uh, he was just on stream. Uh, yeah, true, though. Yeah. Uh, maybe Palmcat versus Kuzo? And, uh, Jagnafar, no. Mason versus Alex? Uh, yeah, sure. He's rolling with the Nikali now, not Jerry. Interesting. Wonder how the Nikali's gonna do. I've fought as Nikali, but I, it's been a while. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not certain. Oh, 
There we go. All invites have been sent. So Mason does play a bit of both, so we could see him swapping back and forth, depending on the matchup. I'm expecting he. I know recently he's really been liking Nikali. He's trying to get better with him, so. I'm thinking he's going to probably stick with uh, Nikali, but yeah, you never know. So it's Mason versus Alex? Uh, yes, Mason versus Alex. If you could uh, drop it back. We'll get Stereo in here whenever Stereo makes it. Mm -hmm. I can resend the invite in a minute. Alright. <laughs> Hey, Gen Z0101 in Twitch chat. You can join this tournament through Challenge or through the New Challenger Discord. Uh, this is just a tournament based around the idea of everyone kind of working together to up their own skills. Uh, ch we're keeping track of, you know, who's beating who and uh, what the grudge matches are. And uh, basically we do a series of eight tournaments and then an invitational at the end based on placements. Uh, we collect donations, and uh, build up a prize pool that goes to charity at the end of the season. So it's we're basically trying to support as many good causes at once as we can, everybody getting better at fighting games, having a good time, and sending some money to children who need it. All right, Nikali versus Abigail. I've literally never heard of this matchup. <laughs> I have no idea what this matchup looks like. The final Nikali. Round one. So, who even plays Nikali anymore? Like, I know. Nikali. I know Ma Nikali was Machabo. like super popular in season one. And then he won. What did they do? He won CPT on Nikali. He got a Nikali CPT costume, and then like everyone dropped him. And every time I saw an interview with a pro that had dropped Nikali, they were just like, "Yeah, he's really good. He's just..." It's not fun to play, it's kind of boring. Yeah, I think the only one left is like Chavo. I know Phenom even dropped him. It's sad. It's was... sad seeing a character that like should be getting played but isn't just because like their design is where it should be. He's not, he's not that fun. He looks like he, he, he looks cooler than he is. Like, he kind of just seems, he's just weird. Yeah. Uh oh. Wake up, EX hands. Come on, man. Oh, he missed the pick up there. Ooh. Yeah. Ate the punish there. Very close first round. round. Yeah. As far as he went in like that. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, there's the classic Abigail stuff. Abigail run. There's the XDP. Yeah, that's that wake up the XDP. Oh, yeah. I think he just tried to do an empty jump command grab. That's what it looked like. Yeah, mm. unfortunately, Capcom said that that hurt box wasn't there at that point. It's Nikali time. Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, he's the XDPing too much. It's. Slap. Slapped out of the air. He's steaming. Abigail, Abigail wins. wins. All right, well that's a quick game one. Yep, that that that's the uh, Abigail way. Quick rounds. Cause he does. Yeah, you better really. A lot. Win. It's a lot of damage. Oh, yo, we're we getting to switch to Jury. Ooh, we can oh, see that. Right. Can everybody uh, who's not Alex or Mason please give me a back to Q or back of Q? Click real quick. Breaking out the jury, probably. Unless he's got a third unheard of random character. I don't think he does. I don't know. Maybe he'll pull out, like, Zeku or something. Actually, he's been playing a lot of Zeku. He might have that. <laughs> that, that, 
might actually be a thing. I'm not even kidding. He said he actually really likes playing Zeku, so I think he's probably going Jerry. It, it's unless he's just doing a Nakali costume change, which I doubt is the case. <laughs> it's honestly sometimes when I play, I, I just switch I costumes so I can give right, myself some time. Got to get the right costume. You got to get that that mind state in the right place. Also, costume swapping gives you time to think. Especially when we gotta get everybody down. to drop back a queue to get you back in there. Come on, you can drop. He dropped. Cool. No, he didn't. <laughs> Dang it. No. no don't Wait, ready sir. Yet. That's wrong. Wait, sir. That's illegal. Now we're gonna. He's gonna drop Alex to the back. EJ, come on. Bruh. Oh, everybody hit back. Bruh. Back a queue again. Bruh. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Back of queue, please. Uh, <laughs> Look what you did, Mason. Tomcat might not have the uh, the Twitch stream on. I think he's a little confused about what's going on here. Yeah, maybe. All right now we also have a side switch. Ooh. All right. I think he's probably going jury. I mean, that's. Uh, jury uh, that's versus like a... Abigail is actually a not a bad matchup for jury. I think it's kind of in her favor. Yeah. Actually, that that's when I played Jury. I was actually doing kind of decent against Abigail because he. I think the funniest thing against Abigail slow. with Jury is every time he tries to run, you can just hit V skill and just reset to neutral. <laughs> Stop running at me! All right, Jury. Oh, it's just a base costume. Nothing fancy. Yeah. The classics. No mecha juries, no schoolgirl juries. Fight! Punish jury, man. Punish jury. I mean, she's punished from Capcom right now. <laughs> Pour one out. Ooh! Used to come to my stream and I was a better jury. Not anymore. Uh oh. Oh, oh no didn't get a punish though. That's gotta hurt. Speaking of that's gonna hurt. Abigail time. I'm surprised he didn't cancel him. Oh, this is gonna be close to death. There we go. <laughs> Vroom's in sadness. Round two. Vroom in peace, Abigail. Eh, eh, alright. <laughs> He's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hey, he got all those charges. Madman. Alex just basically just putting up the wall here. Not really putting up very incredible pressure in the corner, but just making sure he it. He still doesn't. And now he's in the corner. Oh. One. If he gets one little button confirm. Oh. If he just does super. Or that. <laughs> I would have flexed with super. I would have flexed with super, but that's just me. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a thing you could do. So the question Jerry's is, does Alex change characters now? No, he only plays. He only plays Abigail. <laughs> He did, then we'd have another. He used to play a different character, I forget who. It wasn't Alex, which just made me super, like, salty. I thought he oh, did boy. play Alex. No, I don't think he ever played Alex. Or if he did, it was before I saw him. I, I think swear he used to play, he like, played like, Arian or something. I thought I heard that he had played Alex prior. Maybe, like, a long time ago. I think in Season 5. Maybe Ooh. Season 4. He was playing somebody other than Abigail, but it wasn't Alex. Oh, 
pressure. He's just, yep, he didn't want that B trigger anyways. Ooh. Uh. It's already almost got B trigger again. He's got him! That was a really, really good cut, bro. That was pretty intense. Can, does Abigail have anything that can punish Jury Light Punch DP? Was it good for you, I don't... I don't know. The thing is, her Round DP two. just got a really weird hit stuff. Right. That's the one thing about it. Yeah, so, so it's... It's already weird enough to punish. I don't think he has a 3 frame. Yeah. But it's, it's minus it's, it's, No, he doesn't. Crouching because it usually whips over most characters. Does it still whip over him, is my question. I'm not sure. Ooh, that was a good flip kick there. That was pretty intense. I don't know if that was sort of some sort of reaction or if that was the bestest of reads. Oh man, he's just walking up to him. Maybe it didn't work in his favor there. But... Might, might need oh. to give the big man a little bit more respect. Oh, he's just... That was a really good shimmy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Man. And the comeback is complete. Man, that was a good one. Alright, so Mason is taking notes. Not gonna play Nikali into, into uh, Abigail. That was that was a very, very nice jury play. Right it's go time. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed. And jealous. Envious. There was a time when I played Jury. Actually, the funny thing is I started with Jury, and I legitimately went through, like, the entire roster a couple times, and I still was going back to Jury. <laughs> she's just fun to play. She's super fun. She's, I get, yeah, she's... trying to fight. Now, me personally, I'm an ape, and I... I like command grabs, but Jury's actually my favorite character in this game. I just can't play her because she's really different. I, I started with Ibuki, actually. I played Ibuki for like a month or two and then switched to Jury. Yeah, when I first came to NCH, I was playing Jury and Ibuki. Then I realized, eh, one, Ibuki doesn't fit at all what I like to do. And Jury, I really want to fit what I do, but I can't make it work. Unless I change a lot. I mean, I was thinking once I learned this game more, I could go back to her, you know, give her another shot. Maybe so. Yeah. Come on, Palmcat and Kuzo. Let's get this match on the road. Yo, it's time. Hit some buttons. Alright. It's about that time. Smash that ready button. Hey! Oh, at the same time. Synchronized buttons. The reads. Alright, so. So we're going to get a Ryu versus Akuma, as it looks. Although every time I see somebody with a Ryu thing, I just kind of think maybe they didn't set their character. So, <laughs> like, I didn't set my character for probably a year. I was like, how do I do that? I don't play Ryu. I played him once, and all I did was spam parry. I like the parry. It sounds cool. He's got the anime... Anime Ryu. Maybe if we skip the calendar screen, it won't Capcom fast forward us. I think it's still gonna though, because that load screen took a second. Yeah. Round one. Ooh, Fight. Fight. All right. Yeah. A little bit of fast forward, but it was just walking, so it's all good. Say. Ooh, nice conversion there. forgot, I think it was, I know Daigo was playing Akuma in training mode, and was just trying him out a bit, and the one thing he kept working on was the medium kick and the medium tatsu confirmed. And, yeah, it's definitely a thing I see a lot of Akumas do. That medium kick is a nasty button. If Daigo thinks it's a good idea, I'm just saying it's a good idea. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, yeah. Alright, showing too much respect to the Akuma right now. Round two. 
Can't respect that man. You gotta you literally have to disrespect Akuma to beat him. You gotta jump over some air fireballs and kick him in the head. Possibly EXDP him, because you're that boy Ryu. Oh, Ryu's got that bar. He's just walking away right when he's got the pressure. Like a deep south diner right now, there's so much butter. So much butter. Use your meter! There it is! Hey! He jumped. No, I, oh, I thought he jumped for a second. A Coomers! What do you use that meter for? A Kimbo. Oh, nice. Can you do some demons? Yeah. Raw demon finish. Raw. Raw demon. I, I mean, I'm not. I don't necessarily want to see a demon through. win, but I want to see a demon. Ooh, good DP there. Oof. Very good DP there. Good. No demon flips in my house. Final round. Fight. When you got full meter and you're a coma, it's the most terrifying thing to look at. <laughs> it's like, I want to get demon. About it either. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's gonna probably go into CA and that'll kill. Yeah, that's gotta kill. Yep. A spicy boy. Yeah, that was brutal. Kuma is a weird character to deal with, though, because he's got so much crap. That he does. Oh, so much of it. It's like, I mean, it, like someone was saying before, I'm really glad they put a Tekken character in Street Fighter. Kuma from Tekken. Jump in. Nice conversion there. Wake up tech. He does like to wake up for a lot. Oh, there's a DP of sorts. Just walking right up there. Oh, he's a Kuma. He can kind of just do that sometimes. I shouldn't really be surprised if it's anything. Kuma. Honestly, if I was playing a Kuma right now, I would have every time. Oh, he did it! He did the Ryu thing! <laughs> he made that thing light up and did the thing with it. He did the spike. Oh, oh. That was the wrong oh man. Oh no. You gotta get some better punishes on that. Oh. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man. Just about. We were almost there. If you, if, if you would have EXDP'd there, I think that would have gotten him. Round two. Because the uh, heart box on those things is kind of wacky. Like, I was watching a video earlier of Sarah Blast just playing Ken, of course, and he whiff punished, or I think he just EXDP straight up just Kage's uh, red fireball right at the tip of the hurt box, and it killed him. Uh oh. Wrong time. Yeah. Into CA we go. No, never mind. Dang it. Unneeded. Unnecessary. Uh, that's the best part, though. When it's unnecessary, it's the biggest flex. Akuma wins. That's why I do it too much. Alright. Alright, so once we get that score entered, we will be on to round... Three. It's go time. All right. How many rounds are in this one? Five. Five. Okay. We did five last week. Figured we'd just do five again this week. Could have done four, but said four would have been fine. But now let's just keep, yeah. keep it at five. Uh, let's get whatever. Who's soul facing this time? Uh, let's find out. Gotta wait for them to enter scores so the next round will pop. Uh, 
while we're waiting on that. Good idea and a good time to go ahead and plug Maturino again. So our coupon code this season, the whole season, still play. Go ahead and hit the tiny URL and uh, jump in there, hit the coupon code after you've logged in, and send a free dollar to charity. Also, this season, in Match Arena, down the right side of the screen, there are different little links and things you can click on there that will also throw money into the prize pool magically free for you. Um, you know, the usual kind of stuff like retweeting them, liking them on Facebook, that kind of stuff. Um, they have a few partners and different things like that, so there's a lot of little links you can click down the right-hand side of the screen, and each one will, you know, throw a little bit of extra money into the prize pool there. So please go ahead and do that. Yeah, we got new Challenger shirts, we got Macherino hats, Macherino uh, sweatshirts. Got new Challenger shirts in a few different colors, actually. I, I'm actually wearing the blue one right now. Word to Evo, too. To let everybody know. This is why I'm almost good. This is why I'm already godlike. <laughs> Betraying gods here. Picked up my signed copy of Geef's Gym. All right, let's see. The scores are in. Are the scores in? I think the scores might be in. The scores are in. Let's pick a match. Mm, who do we have? You know who I'm looking for? The match that I want to see pop up? Full Heart versus Clutchco. So that's already up to a uh, number two grudge counter there. Full has beaten Clutchco two times. That means if Clutchco can take it back just once, extra points. Plus, you know, somebody has to beat Fool and pick up those extra points. A lot of points. Oh. All right. All right, so what do we have here? Jocknafar versus Motion, Kuzo versus Cody, Palmcat versus Floxion, Clutchco versus Alex, Soulshine versus Adam, and Foolheart versus Mason. You said you wanted to see Soulshine? Let's make that happen. Who else are you looking right. at here? Hmm. There's going to be Adam on stream for... One more again. Um, we just and had I'm Kuzo. Specifically picking all of the uh, NCH grudge matches. <laughs> Don't mind my bias. Alex has been on street. Let's go. Let's go. But Alex was. Trying to pick it. You know, I don't think there's any match that we can pick where one of the two has not already been on stream tonight. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we should just pick someone quick, though. Uh, let's see, which has the closest together seed? Uh, Foolheart versus Mason looks like it'll be the closest. Other than that, maybe Kuzo versus Cody? Uh, yeah. Flip a coin, Foolheart or Kuzo? Hmm. Yeah, let's just do Kuzo. We're probably gonna get a Foolheart stream later. Uh, that would be my guess. Get these lights sent out right away. What are you still in here for? Wait, no, Adam was supposed to be in here. Ah! I'm an idiot. Now I can't type either. Alright. Let's not kick the contestants. <laughs> That's the best part. Match hasn't even started. There's already a dispute of lag. 
what's going on with CFM here? That OS though. Max hasn't even started, we're already talking about lag. Right, so that's it. it. Always gotta have the lag stuff. You know, I'm think I'm beginning to think Adam's internet is just bad. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> it's a I mean CFN's not the crispiest connection anyways. Yeah, I think CFN is definitely not as good as it could be, but I think Capcom gets a lot of extra flack about CFN being bad just because there's not very many fighting games on the market still that run at a uh, like a three frame level. Like most fighting yeah. games that you play now, like the fastest moves are like five or ten frames. Don't worry. Like trying to balance a net code around a three frame move is oh, yeah. really tough. Why? Three frame, because you need Killer Instincts in netcode. Like, you need. One. You mean GGPO? Fight! Yeah. Or just that Microsoft money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Killer Instinct just uses GGPO. I mean, whatever they use, it's goblin. I mean, Actually, basically, the thing is, best. GGPO has been out for years, and. Any game that you see that runs a rollback style netcode basically is ripping off GGPO, but GGPO is still one of the best on the market, and it is a licensable netcode, and Capcom did own a license for it at the time they put Street Fighter V out. They just decided to roll their own, and uh, didn't do a very good job that day. Boy, look how it turned out. It could definitely be worse, though. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we're supposed uh, to be talking uh, about. Look at this G doing G things. Nothing but a G thing. Yep, there it is. No, I called it. I would have jumped. Let the record show. I would have jumped because I faced so too much. <laughs> I'm angry. I'm not happy about this. What is this? What? There's too many buttons going on. Yeah, where's that Twitter? Oh, I wanted that Twitter combat. Damn. Yeah. Final yeah, it's G. G is oppress or be oppressed. Alright. Alright, crouching medium punch. Trivial. Oh my god, stop! Stop, so! Please stop grabbing. You're making me sad. He's gonna crush you, so. Boy, do I love G. Boy, do I love G. Oh, G wins. Boy, do I love G. I tell you that I love G. All right. Let's see if we're gonna get Round more one. G shenanigans. Fight. Perish. Perish. Ooh, a bit there. Ooh, oh. Anti are there. Catches the headbutt. Where's the grab? Ah, I hate that I called it. Why? <laughs> like this hurts me. Like, so you, you're gonna jump in the ring next, uh, next underdog? No, <laughs> absolutely not. I am a commentator for a reason. <laughs> I guess it's called underdog. It's under, underdog with the special feature of people who beat me on a regular basis. Diamond boys. Oh, he's doing stank! Ah! Oh. I hate it. Round two. Fight. Okay, 
Just oh, you monkey fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm more sorry. commentary from your uh, your resident unbiased oh commentators. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> God, I can't believe you did it again. I, I cannot control myself right now. I, I just hate watching this. Every time I face Soul, he just angers me. Pardon my French, but he has been angry me a lot. <laughs> this is aggravating. <laughs> Wait, where's that jacket, man? It's got big pockets. They can keep all the salt in it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's good at it. I'm not saying he's, he's a bad player. He plays really well when he does stuff like this. Because he can just make get momentum crazy. Look at this combo. He's gonna grab it. He was in the corner. Now they're in the other corner. Yeah. Like I've been saying, G is a guilty gear character. <laughs> Two whiff grabs in a row. It's right at the same time. G is a Guilty Gear character in Street Fighter. He's in the wrong game. <laughs> Not my day. I don't. Fight. I don't play enough Guilty Gear to make a comment on that. He's anime. He's an anime boy. Yeah. Oh man, G gets me hated. <laughs> I need to chill. <laughs> Like, I like watching G, but it's something about a G that I've, I've played before. <laughs> like, it's just, you got the confirm into the EX. Grab in the corner! He's got the wheel kick. We are almost at stun here. Oh, no. We got away from stun. Not a stun. Ooh, good neutral jump! Not able to do much with that, though. Oh god, one confirming a super. That's all it's gonna take. Oh. Well, this is interesting. I mean, he could chip him out if he goes close. Oh no! Yes! Is it chip? No, it's not! Not quite. This game's rigged! That'll do it. This game's rigged! Ah, oh, god. G win. Jesus. A guy just being a dude. <laughs> he's not just a guy, he's the president. Uh, uh, he's, a, he's a janky boy. That, that president. Even, even with my coarse language, this is me being nice. <laughs> I am not, I was not even meaning to go into that, that territory. Privilege. But, God. God, I hate G. All right, well, as soon as I get those, those uh, results entered, we are waiting on Kuzo and Palmcat as well. Once we see all that, we can see what our matchups are going to be going into round four. I've still got fingers crossed here for Foolheart versus Clutchco. Foolheart's uh, 3-0, and I believe, right now. What's Clutchco sitting on? Clutchco is 1-2. Uh, and two. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see that matchup this week. Oh, right. So yeah, this guy should start whenever, and we will get going. We've got a Lucia pick here. I haven't been online in a while. There are still a lot of Lucia players. Um, I haven't been online a lot lately either. <laughs> uh, what do we have yeah. here? Let's actually, yeah. Let me drop back to the lobby, so I'm not holding things up. Let's do this! Right. Yeah, I hope he gets some... I haven't... The things I've seen of Lucia, she literally just looks like a King of Fighters character that somehow made its way into a Capcom game. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Like, she even has K's uh, fireball mm -hmm. kind of stuff. It's like the same kind of thing. It's interesting. I'm. Round one. She's a supposed to be pretty good. Player. She's a cool character. Really carefully so far. Yeah. 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 
that, that's wrong hen there's tech throws throws I didn't know you could combo off of that just about a stun here putting down a lot Oh, here we go. He's great fighting back. Pressure's been halted a bit. He's got those combos. Ooh, we got stun legs too. We got those V skills. Got a bit of a stalemate. Oh, it's anti up there. Is risky. Uh, oh no, he's just out of range. And the fireballs bounce? Yeah, they bounce in BT1. Ooh, that comeback the though. The knee. That comeback though. He's getting dominated at the beginning. That's gotta hurt. I'm to go for the grab, can I go? Ooh, he's going for a run. That was a long run. A lot of buttons there for a turn. He's blocking a lot of those cross-ups though, that's for sure. I'm surprised there's silvers out there that block cross-ups. <laughs> the ranks don't always mean what the ranks mean. I don't play much rank. Just from the, the rank I have. You probably can't get to platinum with silver skills, but you can definitely get to silver with platinum skills. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Oh. Anime combo time. Ooh! Very nice. Keeping it close. Final round. Fight. Oh, there's the grab right there. I'm not answering him though, so he's getting some free jump. Eh. And just as I say that. He keeps going for the- Oh! That, that low slide is weird. That's, that, that's still the weirdest ant here, because it just launches you so far. It really does. It's like a... Just Akuma gets the Tekken launcher in this game. <laughs> oh no. Alright. That's some staggers. Ooh, just using that invincibility. I don't know what I meant, but he just went over it. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think it was a little He's bit of both. He using it to using get through his, it, and then he was over it by the time it wore off. Using his gravity invincibility. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this grabbing? Lucy is a grappler, by the way. You know that? I know now. Lucia wins. King of Fighters, girl Ken. Yeah, that was interesting. Wait, I thought Soccer was already girl Ken. No, see, uh, Soccer just exists now. Round one. <laughs> Lucia is girl Ken, but with like weird stuff. Soccer is just girl Ken. Uh. Grabs. Got to detect those. Another one. Another one. Oh, this sh this should be probably death if you played it right. Yep. I believe that's yep. the first P of the night. Don't mess with the MCPD. Yep. Round two. There's always one. One of my best options that I've done was uh switching off Lucia's voice from English to Japanese. Because, honestly, I couldn't stand it. 
in English at all. I mean, it's not bad. Out. Oh my god, monkey! Ape, ape to escape! <laughs> Just do min minus four. Minus four in the EXDP. Man! I'm, I think that was the minus four one at least. That was, yes. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it was monkey boy. I mean, come on, you don't... I don't think people know oh, Lucy uh, 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 right now. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we getting some Akuma robbery? Hold up. Is the comeback real? Oh, no, he tried to... He got the trade there. And looks like Cody's taking it. What are we doing, Capcom? Lucia wins. All right, let's look at the scoreboard. So at the end of round three, wait, wait for this this score to get entered real quick. It's go time. All right. All right, and this is the fifth round, right? So this should be the last one. <laughs> no, it was the third round. Oh, that was third. Third, three. Whew! All right. <laughs> Got two more. I thought I thought that was the fourth. All right. All right, wait. Kuzo's got a question. Look what we got. Oh no, Kuzo might have to go. Sounds like DJ Cruz might have some domestic issues to take care of. Maybe. Alright, just give me the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down here. Alright. Confirmation real quick. If scores are entered yet. We do not have Kuzo versus Cody scoring yet. Kuzo's got to step away. We will go ahead and the remove button on that real quick. Alright. That's going to give us our round four lineup. Let's go ahead and look at the scores real quick before we read out round four. Fullheart's currently sitting pretty at top with uh, the 3-0 with a bit more points difference. Uh, they pull out ahead of Soulshine. Uh, Soulshine sitting at 3-0 as well. It looks like Soulshine probably missed a couple of Entries here, let's go. So, where are you at? Oh, it looks like a lot of people aren't entering their scores right. Foolhard's been entering his right. That's why he's currently in first place. Otherwise, Soul Soulshine would be tied. Uh, W.I. Alex is in third place with a 2-1, followed by Mason and Motion Stop also at 2-1. Floxion's the only one sitting at 2-2 right now. Uh, EOT, Cody, Adam RPC, Clutch Co., Jognifer uh, are all 1-2, and, and then Tomcat and 
uh, went out uh, at zero three, and Kuzo just had to step away at one and three. All right. All right. Let's just pick two people. All right. So round four, we have Adamar versus Clutchko, Kuzo versus Floxion, Tomcat versus Jock Nafar, EOT Cody versus Motion Stop, Soulshine versus Masonry Bit, Full Heart versus Alex. Kuzo versus Floxion is not going to happen because Kuzo had to step away. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Let's see. So we just saw Soulshine. Just saw Cody. Just saw Adam. Close to me. I think, it, again, though, we're sitting here on uh, the. You've seen everybody at least once. So Soulshine and Adam we just saw. Fuzo and Cody we just saw. So that leaves Palmcat and Fool Hearts, Matthew. As people who haven't just now been on stream. Why don't we do those two? Yeah, let's do that. So Palmcat versus... A rock Nefer and Foolheart versus by Alex. This invite sent out. Was it stereo what? Uh, stereotype A, I think. That sounds right. A Rock G N A F I R. A Rock F I R. So we are getting pretty close to the end here. Mm -hmm. Thinking my food should probably be here by now. Ordered some delivery Indian. Gonna get some butter chips. Nice. nice, nice. Oh, we're waiting on that. Oh, no, we're not waiting anymore. Uh, so let's see, we got Pomcat versus Stereo. That Pomcat versus Ragnar, so these are out of order right now. Why don't we get, uh... Heart, can you drop to back so we can do the other match first? But we need Foolheart and Alex to drop, actually. set at the lobby as soon as we can get some ready buttons let's do this Hmm. 
All right. So Alex says if the game one lags, they're just going to do a Honda Miracle game too. I like that idea. We haven't seen any Honda tonight. I've seen Honda or Poison. Oh god, why would you pick that? Come on, Mason! Come on! <laughs> Come on! You just gotta make sure you always pick the other Ugh. skin available. God, at least you didn't pick the gray one. I hate the gray one. That one Play blends in. Play on grid. This like is the path of my destiny. There was a guy at Combo Breaker this year that was on uh, was on a stage, and he picked a skin that looked exactly like the background of the stage, and everyone was just like, "Dude, come on!" <laughs> Damn it. He lost though. He got cooked. That's Excellent. what he gets. <gasps> Dry skin, the collie. The grabs. See now, if that was G, there'd be a full combo after that grab. Yeah. The thing. Oh no. He's got, he's got full meter. And he's got the life lead. About to hit that B trigger too. Oh no! <laughs> he swept. I love that he. I love that he swept there. I love that he swept there. <laughs> the hardest of reads. Like, the second he popped the trigger, he's like, no, I don't think he will. Try it again. <laughs> Why the double overhead? Oh my god! This is primal gameplay. <laughs> this, is, this is some raw shit right here. Real. This is real. Oh god. Nice anti air DP. He's jumping like a madman. Yes, yeah, Derek has again. actually had some pretty good anti air so far this season. Screw it. Just keep going. Oh. That's an interesting critical art. When it's in V trigger. Ooh, Weird. wouldn't get the little cap on leg at the end for the fast forward throw. Good. Finish the round. <laughs> Final round. Fight. One thing I always noticed Nikali's hair. It's just so whack. <laughs> it's just all over the place. <laughs> it legitimately looks like somebody just put a bunch of styrofoam on his head. It's like a bunch of wet paper towels. Uh, you got the cancel on the beach. Little overhead there. Oh no. Oh, I'm the bomb guy. Me smash ground. You're extra unfortunate. It's one of the Nikali. things. The thing with Nikali is that he he could have. He seems like he would have been super cool because he's the only person in the game that has an infinite V trigger. I mean, except yes. for G's because that G's feels freaking infinite. <laughs> he's the only character with like a straight up install like that. Yeah, he, he legitimately has two installs. The thing is, though, it kind of isn't the most interesting to play. Why would he overhead there? <laughs> Maybe he's probably do, trying to do it. I mean, Nakari was the actual box front character for Street Fighter V. Of course, that didn't stop Capcom from absolutely crapping all over him throughout the entire story mode. Yeah. <laughs> Oop, you had your chance. Bye. Oh goodness. The lady gets yeah. uh, 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 uh. Right. Can you get a grab? Yep. <laughs> Bro. 
right. Round two. Fight. I'll be here. They never fix victory screens. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adorkin! Adorkin! Dude, all this time in Ken's face still looks like that. Yeah, it still looks like a. Oh. Oh. Blocks the cross up there. Oh god. He's hitting the ground. I guess we finish up the combo there. Ooh, that good old sweep. We both got full CA meter, full V meter. This is so much meter. Everything's yeah, this is everything's fine. flashing. Never mind, we lost one. Yeah, we got we we got a minus one meter. Oh man, this is very patient play. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. What could happen? Oh, that cross up doesn't get to do anything with him though. Yo! Nice choice. That was a very good reaction. Look at that face. That goblin. Nikali wins. Wow, Killer Croc wins. <laughs> Nikali wins. Now he can afford some lotion. Maybe. Hope <laughs> she sees poverty. Remember. <laughs> I don't think we can afford lotion. I mean, clearly, some people can't even afford soap. Right, he so already had it. Cool heart versus Alex. Yep. Abby Gale. Eh, more of just kind of like an Abby Breeze. Yeah, Let's maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right. So, fool's conquest of playing people he usually plays. Another. NCH grudge match. Those are the best ones. Mm-hmm. For sure. Right. I didn't even notice the heterochromia in that skin. That's an A+. Plus. That looks sick. The what now? You're gonna skin. Uh, she's got... Different eye colors. Round one. Got the red on the left Fight. and the, the brown on the right. Let's go. Ooh, Ooh, good convert. Eh, 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 eh. Right. Anti right there. It's an EX Kunai, point blank. What are you doing, sir? Uh -oh. That's a careful play, except there. <laughs> that was kind of all or nothing. <laughs> BM at the end, man. Come on. The book is just mean. You should train harder. That's what NCH is for. You know what, though? Yeah, I yeah. find, like, in different fighting games that I've played, sometimes, like, the end quotes for characters are, like, like, good victory quotes, and sometimes it's just straight trolling. Like, have you ever played, have you played the new Soul Calibur? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my main game. <laughs> like, every single victory quote on every single character is, like, could you possibly troll any harder? Like, Shenghua beats Maxi to death. He's like, what's wrong, Maxi? Cat got your tongue? And he's just sitting over there with holes in his torso. He's <laughs> been sh rapidly shanked. He wins. I feel like for for the fighting game scene, like the win quotes on Street Fighter are pretty tame. Like some of them are like pretty good sportsmanship. <laughs> Others are just kind of like 
you know, there's there's a lot of Round interesting one. quotes, not just like straight trolling every single Fight. round. Can you have Kage's rainbows don't shine in hell, which is the best one in this game by a long shot. So good. It's the edgiest thing you could possibly ask to say. Big ol' schmixing. Oh no. Nice jump. Back off! Oh, that was brave. That was brave. <laughs> Just standing there when he's EX running. He could have command grabbed and ended there, but I guess he did. That was interesting. Yeah, oh, good skill against Abigail? He can reach you. He's just. He's just large. He's a big, large man. Abigail can reach anybody. Oh, man. He's even got. He's doing the. I have a good cross up. We're not. We're gonna do it. <laughs> that's, that's a good cool one. Oh, he's, he's not put. Yeah, you, you get one round. Instant overhead! Instant underhead? Yeah, the last one was an instant underhead. Final round. Fight! When you jump kick Abigail, it's time to hit him in the chest. Oh my god. She's. she's zooming. Reaction. Oh. Was that a frame kill or was that a frame oh. kill? He's dead! Ibuki wins. Is that it? That did that did that just happen? Was that all of it? Yeah. Uh Buki be like. I didn't have time to update the round counter. It's go time. Can you try playing without a tin can and a string next time? <laughs> oh man, man! Oh my god! More Wi-Fi talk. Salt, salt, and the lag. Those are the only two things that are real. Everything else is fake. Oh. No wonder you always win and go 2-0 and every set in Underdog, no one can react to the lag. Oh god, oh god, somebody, somebody get a fire extinguisher! Someone's on fire! Alright, well let's see, once we get these fours in here, get a, uh, get a final round. <coughs> Alright, so... As long as we have some good wholesome fun here, and... Absolutely no anger whatsoever with anyone. Never. Oh, Everyone's having some good old wholesome fun with it. Great internet connections. Everyone's got Google Fiber. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're throwing so much shade. They're throwing enough shade to cover an entire county. Oh my god. We're gonna man. throw so much this shade we solve global warming. True. Man, but yeah, there's some uh, bad internet-related blood going on here. So Pumpkin All right. versus Rocknafir. Still waiting on a score there. You guys run stream. Come on. I know we got scores. All right. So we can all agree that everyone's internet is perfect. Glad to see. Do we have the next one up now? We I do. Don't. Check it out. Round five. We've only got four matches here. Looks like somebody got a buy or got bought out. Uh, oh. So our last matches here are going to be Motion Stop versus Masonry Pit. Cody versus Ragnar here. 
Butchko vs. Floxion, Adam vs. Alex, and Foolheart vs. Soulshine. We just saw Foolheart. We just saw I Alex. think. What do you have? I think that we should do those last two that you're talking about. Which ones? It's Adam Adam versus Alex. Actually, no, they could they could just do it offline. So I mean, never mind. Because yeah. yeah. they're literally right next to each other. Yes. <laughs> what are they, brothers again or cousins? They are brothers. They are twins. <laughs> uh, so apparently, even though they're like literally right next to each other, they lag super hard if they try and play each other online. So they're going to play their set literally offline. Yeah. That's just how it is. I even like LAN. So I guess we can have Fool and Soul again. And... that again so soon? Isn't this the last round? This is the last round. Then yeah. I, mean, I, guess, I guess we gotta see Fool, t Fool wins again. We have to know yeah. if we, we need to put his bounty up <laughs> another level. Somebody's gotta come in here and kill this Fool. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Literally the fool. Uh, maybe... I think Jogna Fear was just on screen. We haven't seen uh, Motion and Mason last yeah, round. Let's do, let's do them. So Motion, yeah, Mason, that. Fool, and Soul will be <laughs> our matches to end out the tournament. Yep. Yep, Adam versus Alex is about the most convenient one you could have. <laughs> yeah, they they a hundred percent can't complain about lag if they play their match offline. Mm -hmm. Literally can't happen. Bye! <laughs> lag anyways. I blame CFN. Anyway, the, the, the PlayStation overheated and it lagged super hard. But only yeah. for one of us. The thermal paste came out. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. No, this is Grand Finals. Yeah, Soulshine, this is basically Grand Finals right here. This is for all the beans. Get Mason versus uh, Motion. Mason versus Motion on stream oh. first. Hold up, he popped out. Of course. All right. Here. Uh oh. Motion and it's Yeah. Yeah, some redo. Come on, Mason. Last round. Mason's in, Mason's in here. Soul we're missing. Oh, it's soul we're missing. Okay, well, we can play yeah. our first match. It's, it's Mason versus Motion, so let's put that at the top. Full Heart can drop to the back, and we can wait on Soul once Soul gets here. Maybe his internet pooped. Dude, Fool. You can drop now. Fool, you can drop now. Oh, you can drop now. Oh, you can drop now.
Tak bylo má. Uh, sounds like Soul might need a new invite. We'll get him after this one. How come he need a new one? Hm. Wacky. All right. Here well, we go. Yeah. Jury versus Mika. Criticism versus optimism. Round one. Both great Fight. characters. Two of my favorites. Actually, probably my two favorites. Lots of extra fast forward from Capcom. There. Supposedly, the trick to this matchup is just winning neutral with Jerry. Oh, yeah, Mika doesn't really have the best neutral. She's got godlike anti air, though. That's why you probably shouldn't try to jump in on her, but it's sort of. Scratching medium punch hits satellites in space. Yeah. Not a good grab of the V reversal there. The good V reversal is so good yeah. too. Yeah. A knockdown too. How are you gonna get a grab for your V reversal? That gets OP. Oh, nice. Good EXDP. There's Round some classics two. right there. Monkey time. Oh my god! <laughs> no fear. Why would you have fear in this game? You can't do it. Mika cannot play afraid. She's too- the grapplers are ma made to scare people. Mm. Confirm there. Uh oh. No scoops today. Oh my that. god, you monkey! You yes. monkey! And then right into CA. Right he tried. I mean, he tried minus two into EXDP. Yep. Final round. It works. If it works sometimes, it could work anywhere, I guess. I mean, I guess that wasn't the final round, so that's the time to risk it. Like, if it had paid off, that would have been, you know, quick game one. Ooh! The free scoops! Look at the scoops! Two scoops. Three scoops. Uh! Oh, we tried to drop another drop. Uh, uh. Scoops? Nope. No scoops right now. Can you get the uh, lift confirm on the. Ooh! He's got the knockdown. Let's go for it again. Oh, gets the. We're within jab. Well, we're not quite jab to kill range, but that. Oh. <laughs> yes. Soulshine says Mika. my volume has dropped off, probably because I'm slouching Mika. and I got out of range of the microphone. That's our Mika for you. The fun stuff. Oh. I love Scoot how everyone and... like calls out the eye patch on Jury, even though she doesn't have it in the majority of her costumes. Round one. She just happens to have it in this one though. Fight. I think they should have, it's kind of like Yurian's uh, thong ho, except they should have that with their eye patch. Every, <laughs> they should always have an eye patch. The eye patch is sick. The only, the only two skins I think she has it in are Base and uh, story, Lilith. Not Story. Story's had her, no, stor in Story she has had her throwing out. Instead of a thing, she's just got two different color dice. Can we make Grand Finals an obligatory Honda mirror? <laughs> Round two. I'm gonna ask them. We'll have to do that as an exhibition later. No. I'm gonna see what they're doing. Hold up. I think he got the. I think he got full charges of everything right now. I think he just stored the V scale as well. Oh, 
Some Defuse. good range on that. Yeah. Right. Final round. Fight. Oh. Oh, we dropped something. Interesting fear reversal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Getting out ahead with a pretty good lead here. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Mika boys. Damage. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Beautiful. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Fantastic. Absolutely. Mika's just running away with that Mika match. Wins. That's a spicy meatball. Mason was like, I think I'm gonna win this game, and Mika was like, Hold that. Hold that thought. Hold this real quick. <laughs> Just yeet. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you going to yeet that time? Time to throw. <laughs> all right. Where are we at now? We got Fool Heart versus Soul Shine for all the beans, all the marbles. Hold up. I hear a Honda quote. <laughs> Oh, is it gonna be a Honda Mirror? Got, got Honda Mirror? It. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. But I, I want it to be. I just wanted to see Honda. Nobody plays Honda. <laughs> like, nobody's been playing Honda that much. I people mean, are like, ah, he's just new. Fat Alex. <laughs> <laughs> is that I mean, true? He, if you think about it, if you think about it, wait, is he playing? Is he playing Honda? Soul says no Honda. <laughs> Trash Heart says Honda. How many Hondas are we gonna see? Please Honda, please Honda, please Honda, please Honda, please Honda. No Hondas. Zero Hondas. Oh, I'm crying! Aw, oh, man. Well, time to be a Buki and hit them with the, everything at once. It's the battle of the characters that blow people up randomly out of nowhere. We got a Buki, we got G. No Honda. F in the chat. I'll this so I mean, though, if uh, round if one, Soul Shine takes this. He gets all those extra points on top of taking first place, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be like winning fun. two turns. Not quite. It'd be a lot. It's like winning six tournaments. <laughs> eh. All right. Got the same gun. Overhead. Still disgusting your combo off of that. That's no bias, I swear. <laughs> Not my I mean, there's other characters that can combo off their overheads. Chelsea can. Yurian can. Uh, and Yurian's got a target combo that leads into his overhead. That is also true. And he can overhead you into a mirror. Leg. I, okay, I still hear uh, kerosene attack every time she does her V-Skill. I think she says kerosene attack. She doesn't, but that's what I think she says. I like when she has the Japanese voice on. It sounds like she says spaghetti when she does the, uh, the DP. My favorite thing about Ibuki is that when she's out of kunai, she sounds like a goose when she tries to throw him again. <laughs> like, she literally talks. Uh -huh. like, oh, oh. oh my god, he's sweeping. Yeah, but it's fun with the Ibuki jury match because Ibuki will be standing there going, Spaghetti, spaghetti. And jury's like, Pasta. And then you got the uh, English jury that says, Nay, nay. <laughs> yep. We got ourselves some Ibuki here. That was yeah. the Ibukiest thing I've ever seen right there. Not my dad. Yep, there's the Ibuki stuff. Ibuki wins. Taking off the mask again. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't think they ever thought about, hey, what if we had costumes without a mask, or costumes where we actually don't let them take off the mask? <laughs> yeah. Like, Same thing with Bison. Like, He's got, what, like two costumes with hats? But he tries to yeah. take off his hat and put it back on in every costume? And then Guile combing his hat. <laughs> Strong move. <Fight>. Oh, only <laughs> yeah. Alpha Chads can do this move. You ever seen someone comb their hat before? Yeah. 
Well, Gotta straighten the fire. Only 1% of the human race can do this. It would be even better if they gave Guile a skin where he's bald. <laughs> As the victory chorus. Oh, wait. <laughs> Mr. Clean Guile coming this summer. Got the stank leg. Take the bow. He smells the need for robbery. Come on, Soul Shine, you can make the comeback. He's playing the right character for it. He's legitimately playing comeback mechanic as a character. Why would you do that, sir? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, actually, Too many riskies. Oh! Fool, I know that trick. <laughs> Round two. Know what you're trying to fight. Sir, please! Get these medium kicks. Yeah. Alright. Anti air. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What was that? Did he just, just about, did, didn't he just, just back medium punch, cancel the second hit, cross up and f What? Yeah, that's a thing. I think that's actually gonna be oh. these trials, isn't it? That's crazy! I didn't know she could do stuff like that. That's one of the I trial combos. That's crazy, though. Well, like, nobody does it. Why are there so many anime characters in this game? Dude, don't you Where's know Street Fighter 6 is actually just gonna be a straight up anime fighter? Where's the super? Why didn't you super there? Why didn't you super there? Sir! Hey, <laughs> oh, slap slap. We got slap. Slap slap slap. Slap slap slap. Fight. Oh my god. I got the jump in. Tosses. Questions whether they liked it or not. I kinda liked it. It was alright. That's alright, I guess. <laughs> Let me give it a six. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh god. Oh, we lost our earth one. It's time to G. Hold up. Oh no! We got the kerosene attack. Oh, whoa! whoa! Disgusting! Vile! Vile creature! Yeah, you just slap. You can't win with slaps. That'll be it. Not his day. It he isn't. Wins. Foolhart. Sweeping the board one more again. You blocked. Do you know how many points Foolhart is going to be worth now? So many points. 12. I think if Foolhart does this two more times, he's actually worth an entire tournament's worth of points. Nice. Like, somebody you got to get somebody in here to come kill Foolhart because this is too many points for one man to have. Stop this man! Stop this man from throwing knives! It's go right, well, let's get those scores entered so I can read out the uh, the final placements here. All right. Well. Get your scores in, fool. Put in the score. You know what's really it's funny time. though? If you look at the leaderboard right now, the names are all in descending order of length. Hmm. Except for Foolheart and Soulshine. Nice. Like, uh, what what happened there? I don't Apparently, know. Apparently, to do well in these tournaments, you either have to be Foolheart, Soulshine, or have a really long name. Yeah. Just, just extend your names. That's all you gotta do. It's real tech. So, the strategy next tournament... You go into Challenge and just type in like a bunch of extra characters in parentheses after your name. See what, see how that works. Pretty sure you'll yeah. win the whole tournament. Yeah. Maybe. Never know. I'm gonna put up some uh, some shoutouts to our other NCH partners while we're waiting for the uh, final scoreboard here. Looks like it's in. I gotta hit refresh to get the last. Good wholesome edit here. All right, so let's read this out. We've got in first place going five and O, oh, Foolheart. Second place, 
because Soulshine and Motion Stop didn't enter their scores correctly. We've got Adam R that went three and two somehow. What, what's going on here? You, know, you guys need uh, to fix your scores here because now we've got somebody that went three and two in second place over two people that went four and one. I think the next time we need to we need to put it in and they just report to us. That'd be easier. That is so much extra work. I'm I'm not doing that. Uh, it's, uh, if you got but what two we might do next time is we might just have people not report full sets next time, just report matches. Because we've had issues with this every week, but I'm just going to leave it for this week. We went over it at the beginning. It's in the instructions. I'm sorry if Adam R just beat you because he followed instructions better, but that's where we're at right now. Yep. So Adam R in second place with the instruction following meta. Uh, Soul Shine and Motion Stop are in third and fourth respectively. Uh, down to the boot holes tiebreaker. I broke all the way down there. Uh, Clutchco followed by WI Alex. Then we've got EOT Cody, Masonry Bit, Jognafir, Floxion, Palmcat, and Kuzo all the way at the back because he had to drop out early. So congratulations to Foolheart and thank you for following instructions, Adam. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's do uh, one more link for our Matcharino prize pool here. Please, 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 if you haven't hit the link, signed in, and used the coupon code yet, please do this. It really helps build up the prize pool. And by prize pool, I mean charity pool, because all the money goes to the real winners, the kids at Child's Play Charity Charities. And uh, that's all sponsored by Matcharino. They have a lot of little things on there that you can do this season to put money in the pot. You can enter the coupon code, you can click on the links down the right-hand side of the Match Arena screen, uh, or actually donate or buy some merch. Buy a shirt, buy an NCH shirt, go to your local, rock the NCH logo, let them know where you've been learning all your new tech from. And uh, tell us how it went. That being said, I do also want to get uh, anybody who has a shout out for a coach that's been helping them, please DM it to me in Discord. If you have leveled up from one league to another since the beginning of the season, please DM me in Discord. I know there was somebody that DM'd me last week, and I lost it. Because I'm bad. Um, I'm going to look for it again, but I need somebody to resend the thing that they sent me. That would make it much easier. And uh, we will see you in two weeks. Any shoutouts, Adam? Ah, not right now. All right, cool. Shout Good out luck. to the entirety of NCH. Yes, everybody grinding away in the lobbies, trying to get that next rank up. Good luck and good night.